Hi, Alex here. For Canon users, it is possible to get a light meter for free. First of all, what for you might want a light meter? Most probably these are situations when you want to combine different light sources and these light sources have different color temperature. So you must know the color temperature of any of those light sources. For speed lights or flashes, it's pretty simple. You can do some tests at home and measure uh, color temperature by shooting a gray card and later wet balance those images and check what kelvins or what color temperature are of those speed lights even on different power level. But what about ambient light? You can test ambient light at home, but it will be not true on the different location, different situations, even it will not be true if a tungsten light is used, etc. etc. For Canon users, there is one very cool solution. You will need a Magic Lantern software for your camera. This software has many many cool features and one of them is measuring a color temperature of the light. And all you need to do is just to place something neutral or grey card before your lens in such a way that it covers all the frame and activate the feature. Then Magic Lantern will calculate the color temperature. This process will take about 2 seconds and you are done. You will see a measured color temperature in Kelvins. In addition to Kelvins, you will see green magenta shift, so you will know exactly what color temperature it is. What benefit will it give you at the end? For example, you can combine a speed light color temperature with ambient light color temperature be it uh, daylight or tungsten light, whatever. To do this, you test speed light at home and write down all color temperatures that it has at different power levels. You just take a color temperature measure by Magic Lantern, just frame your camera that it has something neutral in all frame, something gray or white, and make sure that you have a consistent color temperature while you're doing measures. Write down your measured color temperature and then just place gel close to your lens so it covers most part of the lens and take the measure once more. This time you will get different color temperature. So the difference between first measure and second measure with the gel in front of your lens is a shift of this gel. Doing this with all your gels and writing down the difference the shift of your gel will make possible at any location to measure ambient color temperature and using gels just match this color temperature. I think Magic Lantern has many cool features and it is worth trying it. Personally, I used it some time and has never experienced some errors or anything like this. So let me know guys if you know some cool features and how you use them in, in real life. Cheers!